Hey, I'm Hannah Weiss, the Director of Education at the Science Museum of Western Virginia, and this is your moment of STEM. And this week, we're going to talk about the sky in New York. Specifically, what happened on December 27th when all of a sudden the sky was bright blue and it wasn't aliens. So here's the thing. Shortly after 9 p.m. on December 27th, there was this huge flash of bright blue light in the skies over New York. It kind of almost immediately hit Twitter, being called a whole bunch of things, but the, the one that really kind of caught people's attention was the Astoria Borealis, this bright blue flash of light. And at the time it happened, people were really concerned. We, we didn't know what was going on. Now that we've, we've had a little bit of time and a, and a few days to kind of really think about it, we know that it was caused by an electric arc flash, which is a really big fancy way of saying that electricity went from one point to another point in the air and caused a lot of light. Actually, you, you may have seen something really similar to it before if you've ever seen like a light bulb blow out. You know how sometimes they're just really, really big, bright flash before nothing? It's basically an arc flash. What happened was there was a substation in New York that experienced an electrical fault. And these substations have cables that transmit 138,000 volts of electricity. Now, keep in mind that most households have cables that transmit 120 volts of electricity. So 138,000 volts is a lot of electricity. And when this fault happened, that electricity went, well, kind of to the ground, a lot like lightning. And because it was so much electricity, it was so much charge, what happened was it really kind of excited the molecules in the air. They got, they got really excited, a lot of energy. And when that happens, you end up with charged gas. The, the molecules kind of split up into their atoms, and they get ionized. When we have charged gas like that, we end up with a release of light, just like happens with lightning or neon signs or... Actually, we've, we've even talked about this phenomenon before on Moment of STEM, if you remember way back to our fireworks episode. And that flash of light, the color that you see, is different depending on the atoms that are involved. Because this happened in air, most of the atoms were oxygen and nitrogen. So the big, bright flash of light that was seen was bright blue. The other part of this story, though, is why we were able to see this light so far away. And that actually has a lot to do with the weather. You see, on December 27th, the weather in New York wasn't the greatest. It was a little cloudy. And here on Earth, when we have clouds, they're usually made of just water. And water does some really cool stuff with light. It kind of reflects and refracts it. It bends it. And in this case, it meant that we saw that bright blue light really, really far away. So here's the thing. We know now that it was caused by an electrical fault. And we also know that there was kind of a brief break in service that's pretty much been corrected now. But the really, really cool thing about the Astoria Borealis is that it hit Twitter so immediately. And everyone knew about it almost instantaneously. My friends in California knew that this had happened in New York within minutes. I in Virginia knew that it had happened in New York. And that's some of the really, really awesome power that our social media has. In fact, that really, really wonderful thing that it can do is, is part of the reason why we have things like named winter storms. They allow scientists, like meteorologists, to track the progression of the storm and, and what's happening. But if you would like to know any more about the so-called Astoria Borealis, the science behind what happened, you can check out any of the links below. Otherwise, I'm Hannah Weiss from the Science Museum of Western Virginia. And another really cool thing about this is that, well, if it had been an alien invasion, we'd have known within minutes. I mean, I probably would have had a hashtag.